G'day everyone, welcome back. Hope you're having a great day or a nice night. It's Friday here in Australia and I have Friday's food pantry haul to share with you all. If you're new to my videos, we're a family of four that live in Queensland, Australia. And as many of you know, in recent times, we've been going along to a church run food pantry on Fridays. It's one where you pay $10 and they give you a box of grocery items. And along with the groceries, there's also things like uh, most weeks there's a loaf of bread. Uh, sometimes there's eggs, usually some type of frozen or cold items and always um, some sort of fruit and veggies as well, depending on what's been donated and what's in season. So I'll give you a closer look at what I was fortunate enough to pick up today. Uh, first of all, in the grocery box this week, I got given some spirals, some spiral pasta. And this week we've got a kilogram bag of the long grain white rice again, which is fantastic. And this week we also got some more toothpaste, which is really cool. Nice to get another lot of um, toothpaste. And at the end of the tables when you went through today, uh, they have usually different things like tea and coffee. If you need it, you can take. Uh, I don't always get the tea or coffee. And in recent times, if you've been watching my videos, you would have noticed I've received a few containers of coffee. So I'm all good in the coffee department still. But today they actually had a box of loose leaf uh, salon tea which is fantastic. So you can make it and use it um, in a teapot or I actually have little tea infusers where you can open them up and put a teaspoon of uh, like loose leaf tea in. So when I seen this, um, I thought that would be really helpful. And it's still in date as well, which I thought was awesome. Um, it doesn't expire or the best before. is um, the first of next year first month next year so how cool was that that was a nice one to get that would cost a lot of money I would imagine at the moment from the supermarket so really handy to get uh, they also had today in the grocery box some honey soy and garlic stir fry meal base which sounds really good and there was some chicken noodle Cup of soups, a four pack. That'll be a handy one for the pantry. And some Vegemite again. We seem to get Vegemite most weeks, which is really helpful. We like it in our house. There was a few different canned items. We've got some spaghetti. And some whole peeled tomatoes. And there's some more baked beans today, which is great. And also some mixed vegetables. So that was all the canned items. Uh, this week we got something a little bit different. We've got some just juice, some apple juice, a litre of apple juice. So that's nice. The kids all enjoy that. And the milk this week we got was some um, So Good Almond Original. This is a long life pack, a one litre one, and we got two of those, which is really helpful. And the cereal this week is some um, Uncle Toby's Cheerios Vanilla O's. We've never had that before. It's quite a big box, so just over half a kilogram. So that's fantastic for the school holidays. And down here, is some sourdough crackers. These are multigrain ones, which look really good as well. So that was most of the items we got in the grocery box. And then we got given today uh, two frozen ready meals. There's two shepherd's pies, which look a little bit like this. The cheese melts when you put them in the microwave. So it's made with lamb mince and it's sweet potato on top, mashed sweet potato. So two of those meals we got. And we also got given down here, you'll see 
a six pack of crumpet squares this week. These ones were actually frozen, but it's quite hot here today where we are and they're thawed out on the car ride home. So we might have to use those for breakfast, I think, tomorrow. So they'll be yummy. And there was also, again, frozen. They're actually still frozen. I'll probably put them back in the freezer now is... I think it's a quiche. It looks like it's got cheese and bacon. You can't probably see on camera. Like a little open um, pie, of some type of quiche. Uh, there's a savoury type of sausage roll. I think it might be a vegetarian one. And there's also some type of meat pie as well. So that's all the items um, from the bakery that's been donated. Uh, the loaf of bread this week was a white loaf of bread with sesame seeds on top. And we got a great little selection in the fruit and veggie department this week. We got one nice lemon. Uh, this is a bit random. There's one leaf of um, silver beet. They actually must have had a, a fair bit of um, silver beet donated, but... By the time I went to the food pantry today, they only had a couple leaves left. So they were just giving people one or two each. So I got one, <laughs> which is fine. I'll be able to just chop that up and put it in a meal. Uh, there's also two sweet potatoes. And there's a little wedge of pumpkin over here. Some of the Kent pumpkin. Uh, there's quite a few potatoes. I think I'll have to use them sooner rather than later, though. They look a little bit uh, greenish, a couple of them, I noticed. So I'll have to, yeah, chop them up and make something with them maybe tonight or tomorrow, I think. So there's about, what's that, about nine potatoes. So some of those, yeah, I will have to, I'll probably just peel some of the green bit off. I'm a bit wary. You obviously don't want to eat any green potato. Uh, there's... Three brown onions, and there's also three carrots, and a really nice red capsicum or red bell pepper. And there's some um, nice tomatoes. We've got five tomatoes. And look at this some more avocados. So that makes me super happy. Four avocados. A couple of these are ripe and ready to be used, so that's really handy. And there's some more nice ladyfinger bananas. These ones, again, are ripe as well. There's um, half a dozen little bananas and quite a few mandarins. So there's five little ones and I think there's about three bigger ones. This one's a grapefruit, I think. I think it might be a ruby grapefruit with the pink center. And there's about three oranges. A little punnet of baby cucumbers. And we've got some more of that exotic tropical black sapote again this week or the chocolate pudding fruit. These ones here are not ripe, so you can see the difference. So when they come off the tree, you can't eat them in this um, stage or at this stage. You have to wait for them to get like this. So we got given four squishy ripe ones ready to be eaten, which is fantastic. They're super yummy. And if you haven't seen um, what they look like or you've never seen a fruit like this, have a look. I'll leave a link to last week's video where I actually chopped one open to show you what it looks like in the middle. And they do incredibly taste like chocolate pudding. So, yeah, really, really cool and wonderful to get some more of those this week. Oh, and I almost forgot there's also a bag of mushrooms, which is fantastic. I think these might actually be what they call Swiss brown mushrooms. They look a little bit different to the regular, everyday, ordinary sort of mushrooms you see at the supermarket. Let me know what you think. <laughs> Are they Swiss brown ones? Maybe they're just ones that have gone a bit darker in the outside skin I'm not sure but to me I think they might be a different type they seem to have um, a different color on the inside as well so that my friends is everything I was so fortunate to get this Friday for $10 from my local food pantry 
Uh, such a big blessing to us, a real big help. If you're also needing a help at the moment with food, please uh, don't be embarrassed or ashamed to go and find a food bank or food pantry where you are. There is links down below in my description box if you're needing a place to start. Now, thanks again, everybody, for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a, a lovely weekend this weekend. And until next time, take care.